just want no part of it. it was the only thing that got me sober so when i hear people talk about it non-stop it makes it does trigger me and i'm not bullshitting when i say that like tonight's title's a joke but it really does trigger me and then i think hmm i kind of want it what if i would do it again what if it was put in front of me things that i never think about on a day-to-day -day basis all of a sudden i start thinking about it and i just like watching them go to the car knowing damn well they were probably fucking doing it so for me i really find it disheartening when I hear people think you have to get do recovery a certain way, you don't. Everybody's recovery is different. And if somebody is um, smoking pot because it's better than them doing heroin, then so be it. That's what keeps them sober. That Not sober, they're not sober, 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 but that's what keeps them off of the harder drugs. So be it to each their own. I only, if, if I take Adderall for ADHD, but it happens to keep me off cocaine, then so be it. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's my choice. And it's nobody else's business. It's not my business who smokes pot. It's not my business who, even in states that it's not legal. And a lot of people love weed. I may like weed if I, um, if, if I take Adderall for ADHD, but it happens to keep me off cocaine, then so be it. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's my choice. And it's nobody else's business. Just what does an adult woman look like that has ADHD? Additionally, female behavior describes as flighty or aloof or having her head in the clouds is actually describes ADHD symptoms. But those descriptions seem to blame the woman. In women, the distraction is more likely to be misinterpreted as the representative of her representatives of her intelligence. Slight symptoms don't draw a lot of attention, but definitely create barriers. For example, struggling through to-do lists or finishing a project is challenging. I've never heard Laura ever speak of any challenging projects. She organizes, she delivers, she painted and organized her daughter's room. She has, she doesn't show frustration in a sense that a person with ADHD would their level of frustration is normally lower now symptoms can range from mild to extreme but i've never seen her present symptoms uh, she sits in front of the screen for three hours four hours five hours she sends six seven hours Probably done longer, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> Repeatedly, every day. Every day, hasn't missed a day. Doesn't miss a beat. Doesn't miss a, a, an opportunity. Scouts out information, she's a detective. She, she deciphers. She, she, she did a, a whole project on the making a murder series. 100% of her time, concentration, time, organization, multitasking. These are all things that some an adult with ADHD would struggle with on certain levels of everyday life not including a full-time job that you sit at a desk all day and then another full-time job where you sit at the desk for another day in the same day. Medication would settle you down, yes, but that's almost comatose. 
not moving. So I don't really think you have ADD or ADHD. You wouldn't be able to sit that long without twiddling, fiddling. I don't know, maybe I could be wrong, but I think the reason why you say you have ADHD is an excuse to be on Adderall so you don't take cocaine. You've said it numerous times, so we might as well start believing what you're saying. You have stated before, other than today or yesterday, whenever you made that statement, that if I took Adderall, I know you said if, but how many times you say it, how many times you said it turn, the more times you say it, it turns into almost factual because you've repeated this before. I've heard it before. So you took, are taking Adderall, not for ADHD, which would be the medical reason for taking it. So if you don't have it, then you fudged about it. And if you do have it, then you have it. But if you don't have it and you fudged about it and you're taking it so you don't take cocaine, that's an addiction. It's just a substituted addiction, but it's still an addiction. I'm just saying, I don't believe that you have ADHD. I really don't. You wouldn't be, you'd be more frustrated than you are. And your, most of your frustrations are basically self-inflicted. You go looking for the most negative, anything that you can find, dig up. You can, you can type that, you can type so fast and your brain is reading your chat, typing and thinking all at the same time. You don't have ADHD. Your brain is constantly manipulating people. You don't have ADHD. You are constantly falling into or creating these scenarios where people are being laughed at and humiliated by you and your friends. So that's, that shows a sign of organizing because you're organizing people against other people. So um, I don't think you have ADHD. If, if I take Adderall for ADHD, but it happens to keep me off cocaine, then so be it. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's my choice. And it's nobody else's business. Just like it's